Yeah, I'm, I just missed a call from this number. Yeah, Daniel from Amelia Street, the unit four. Oh, yep, yep, no worries. What can I do for you, mate? The two doors are missing. Oh, from that room? Yes. Oh, yeah, well, there should be some paperwork that we left there for that. Um, both those have got the systemic mould problem, and it's, yep. it's bleeding out of that into the uh, into the other uh, like the other wooden areas, and, and, and actually it's quite hazardous to your health. Um, so... Hold on a sec. Eric? Where'd you leave that paperwork, mate? For... What's the door? Yeah. Um, it, uh, I'm just talking to my guy, Eric. He reckons you left it there. But if not, um, we'll all go off in our email uh, on, on Monday. So... But it's just a duplicate. Yeah, um, so what's happening with the door that you've taken away, so who's replacing yeah. these doors? Well, we, we, yeah, I understand that, um, I understand that, and, uh, but the problem is, is that it's actually hazardous to your health. Um, to be honest, I can see a pretty serious mould problem throughout the whole property. Um, yeah, and, right. yeah, well, right. it's actually, it's actually quite hazardous to your health, and, you know, if I was, uh, if I was the, uh, the landlord or real estate agent or owner or whoever's in charge of it, um, I'd be recommending the, the property be vacated because uh, it's actually, uh, you could get very, very sick from that if you haven't already. Um, yeah, we've been, well, what kind of services? Because we've been sick on and off for a year, but well, it's, 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 been it's, all, it's all like fungal lung sort of stuff, you know, so coughing and, coughing and yeah, but it can get bad. And if you, can get, if you get spores inside your lungs, um, you people have died from that. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to die, obviously, but that's why we had to remove that. And I'm, my, in my report that I'm going to send through on Monday, I'm going to recommend, uh, pretty much recommend that, that the apartment be uh, vacated for a period until it can be removed, because it's just going to come back again and again and again. Yeah, we've had this problem for about two years now. We, I don't know if you, the original guys, the um, old man guys that came in, the place, he goes, it was unbelievable. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I, I can I can I've seen I've seen it happen. Yeah, I know. But like, you got to understand, we're just we're just the contractor. So all I can do is fill out my report and give it give it to give it to um, give it to who I give it to, and then from there, you know, like it's really up to them. You know, like I can't do nothing, but but as a duty of care issue, I, I can't I can't leave things like that in there. You know, to be honest. I'm Oh yeah, oh, well, I will. I don't know. Yeah, well, so it was like, just, all I did was come home and find my bathroom, my bedroom door missing. Yeah, well, I should have. My, my boy here should have left the uh, paperwork, but he reckons he did. But if you haven't got it, you haven't got it. it could be in the truck here somewhere. Um, yeah, like, sorry, I don't know about that, but um. Well, my the way the way it usually. Like, um, I'm just because I can just give the real estate a call, yeah. and they can get straight on top of it after they get your report as well. Cause yeah. I well, they won't. If you're guys like, are you? If you're putting a report for the space to be vacant at some time, you know, we're going to just for our end, I'm just going to figure out what's all going on with us. Yeah, look. To be honest, I wouldn't. As a health issue, I mean, you know, I know you blokes are young blokes and all, but as a, as a health issue, I wouldn't be staying there at all, mate. I'd be getting out. I'd be getting out of there. But um, I'll be sent for sending, sending through that report before lunchtime on Monday. Right now, I would if they decide just to change the doors. There's nothing I can do about that. But if they just decide to change the doors, uh, they will then have to contract whoever they contract to come out and put in new doors. But I'm, my recommendation is the property be vacated and properly cleaned. But that's going to cost a lot of money. Yeah, no, it's like but the issue's been going on for two years now. You guys have put in multiple reports to these guys. Yeah. But the, thing, the biggest fact is we've never received one of those reports like us ourselves. So from our point of standing was they fixed the problems. But obviously what you're saying to me right now is you, they have not fixed the problems under your recommendations. No. Nah. Oh, um, def definitely. To a, health, to a health side of things, they've actually, by legal standing, they've literally done, you know, yeah, well, we're very limited. I mean, there's only there's only so much I can comment on, but we're very limited in what we we can only recommend. It's up to the the, the good. It's up to the uh, you know the landlord and the owner and whoever else is involved 
decide whether they want to put their hand in their pocket or not, right? Now, as you know, most people don't want to put their hands in their pocket when asked, yeah. you know? I mean, when you start ripping out the carpet in there, you've got to repaint it, we do all the fills, we do... I mean, even things like the wooden frames on your bed should go, you know? Um, so... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's going to happen again, and it'll do stuff like eat up, eat up your clothes and all sorts of stuff, and then, and then if it gets, if it gets into your lungs, if it gets into your lungs, I mean, you could be, in, you could be in hospital, you know, one day you could be fine, the next minute you could be struggling to breathe, you know, literally, I've seen it before, you know. Is there a way to get tested for that stuff? Make sure you haven't got any. Um, you just gotta go you just gotta go to the, to the doctor. I'd be get, I'd be getting checked up first. You've gotta to go to the doctor and then just ask for a uh, like a bronchial lung sort of specialist and um and then just tell them the situation, just say, Look, you know, my house is infested with uh, systemic systemic mould problems. Um, can you do whatever test? So I'm I'm no doctor, but I have been tested, I have to get tested once a year for my work. Yeah, right? yeah I'm just thinking for us because we're in and it helps. obviously you guys get get tested periodically. Yeah, yeah, once a, once a year we have to. Um, yeah, so. if you guys will have a, if you copy of the report, so every report that's been done on this place, won't you, on file still? Um, I won't, but, but whoever, yeah, whoever's yeah, in the yeah, office should have them on their computers, yeah. yeah. So are those reports available to the tenants, or do we have to request them from the real estate? Well, usually you would request them from the real estate. I can ask on Monday morning if we're allowed to send a copy direct and give you a call, but... To be honest, I just put it in the computer system and then it just goes off from there. Yeah. So, I'll, I'll go through, I'll just see from you guys, but I'll, um, I can ask, real, but I, I don't know. I'll do the real estate on Monday because I'm, I'll do a copy of uh, the reports, all the reports that we've had for the past two years. Yeah, because like, to be honest, like, to be honest, like, to be honest, I'm like, they haven't actually, but what they've said they've fixed, they haven't fixed it all. And I'm over the whole issue. Yeah, look. Like, like when we said, we said, we, we said we'd, um, if they, want to pay and we'll go leave for a week and then come back after the place has been fully cleaned but they said no it'll be fine yeah, it's not a matter it's not a matter of cleaning you can't just clean you can't just clean it off I mean you, gotta, you yeah. can you can you can sterilize it to a certain point but I think I think uh, yours is at the point where you know the carpet's got to come out you know the wooden furniture's got to come out you know the, the linen's got to come out the you know and that, that's not going to get done in a week you know like yeah, maybe yeah, it's very, a very same, very similar situation as if you got caught in them floods a couple of years back. You'd be doing the same thing, you know. Like yeah. people don't realise. <laughs> yeah, well, people don't realise spores are deadly, you know. And yeah. and you know, it's just a, you know, you know, it's not a flood it doesn't come in your, your window and and destroy your plasma television, so you don't realise. But it's there, mate. You know. Yeah, they they had they had, they had to come out they had to come out straight away. Right? And to be honest, I was looking I was looking at some of the carpet and I was even looking at the wooden chest of drawers that you have in that room. Um, uh, the main bedroom. Yeah, well, the room with the no doors. So oh, that's, yeah, mine. Yeah, I was looking at that going really that should come out too, you know. But I realised you they you know like that's yours. The doors aren't yours, but that's yours. Yeah. So. Yeah, Oh mate, I walked in. There. We walked. We walked in there. We ran. We walked in there. We ran a couple of swabs and we put the masks on straight away and we were in and out of there in no time. Yeah, that's no, it. And that's yeah. how I think about it for my health. Yeah. So. Uh, well, um, I'll let my housemate know and everything, and um, we'll we'll get on to our real estate anyway. Yeah. No worries. I. Well, you guys have been not long, but I know when the door's gone for a good reason. Yeah. Yeah. No. We'll, we're not in the door theft industry, mate. But, <laughs> But I, I recommend you, you put a firecracker down there, down there, you know what, because uh, it's not very good, mate. Yeah, well, I'm actually going to start, like, we've already got a, uh, at the RTA, we've got a very long list of pack of plates, and yeah. after this one, I think they're going to be up shit creek. Yeah, no worries, mate. Oh, I tell you what, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to head back, so, um, you know, mate, I'll, I'll leave you to it, but that report should be in by lunchtime, so. No problem. All right, thanks for that, mate. You have a joy the rest of your weekend. All right, thanks. You too, mate. Bye. See you, mate.